Hi guys, it's part five already. I was hoping to be a bit more advanced than this, but every time I do something, I come across a problem and it slows me down. These compound angles, I really couldn't get my head around them. It's cut this way and then it's cut this way and cut this. And just as I'm getting the hang of them, there's hardly any more left to do. Thank goodness for that. Right, what am I going to do today? Well, I'm not going to say, I'm going to do this and do this and do this, because every time I say that, it never happens. So what I'm going to do is just try and build around the front. If it happens, great. And hopefully by the end of the day, I've got something good to show you. Let's get making. just finished making these two pieces. I've made them so they match the top of the car and then I'm going to drop it down by one centimetre. That way when I make the top wing it's got something to sit on. The reason I've made two is because the other one is going to sit on the inside when I make the outer wing. All I've got to do now is trim them both up and make them look nice. Even though you don't see them, I like everything to be nice, even the hidden parts. Next thing I have to do is, whatever angle this is running at, I have to cut the top of this piece to match. Same goes with this one and this one. Then I can cut out the outer wing, which starts back there comes all the way over here. Well it starts getting tricky again now because this top wing starts here and he has to curve to join up with this here. That way I can determine what angle to trim this piece at. The other day, when Chris went looking for my cat, two minutes later the cat come back. I thought, I better tell him. So I looked on my phone finder to see where they were looking. He'd gone all the way up to near the White Art pub. That's ten minutes away. It just shows how far out of his way he'll go to help other people. What a nice guy. While I've been having my dinner, the glue's been drying on this, and so the next thing I need to do is to transfer the curve of the wing onto this paper so I can transfer it from this paper back onto the wood, cut it out. pieces, four identical pieces. One is going to go on this inner section, the other one is going to go behind this outer section and then I've got a support for the top of the wing.
I made these four pieces identical. I forgot. I have to trim them so that they fit to this. So I've just marked them. Well, I've just marked the first one. Marks it along here. Now I have to cut it and make the other three the same. last night and the last thing I did was cut a groove on the inside that's so I can bend it a little bit so it'll fit nicer in this position now before I glue it all up this morning I'm just going to check that there's no big mistakes and I'll do that by putting it in position without gluing it this these two pieces they fit level with the base so I'll put this on Make sure it sits level. And now, I just check all my alignments. Everything seems perfect. I can glue that up now. And then I'll trim it once I've finished glue. Once, once the glue's dry, I'll finish, uh, I'll finish it all off then. But the first thing I've got to do is draw around this piece so I can make an identical piece for the other side. Let's get on with it. That groove I cut on this panel, I've cut it in the wrong place. I should have cut it here. Luckily, I can cut that groove now and everything will be saved. Thank goodness I noticed it now and not later. This morning, I glued all this up. Well, it's all dry now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the top of the wing. The widest point is approximately 20. I'm going to make it 21. And it runs for 125. So if I make it 22 centimetres wide and run it over 140 I'll have enough material to trim it off to an exact fit Let's get on with it Now that I've got the basic shape of the top of the wing cut out, I'm going to turn it over, cut some grooves on the inside, and that'll help it to form this shape more easily.
always a bit nervous when it comes to attaching big pieces like this that have taken me nearly a week to make onto a piece like this which also took me a long time to make because if I get this bit wrong now I've got to start all over again and I don't want to do that I trust myself I think I'll get it right but I've always got that little niggling doubt let's get on with it plan with the big triangle piece fitting against this inside wall unfortunately I can't even explain this it's like the compound angles it looks straight you can put a straight edge against it and it's perfectly straight but once it starts to go up and down it makes a difference to this I can't explain it. But what I do know is I've got another plan and I'm going to do that now. Yesterday I was hoping to get all this finished off but as usual I got some unforeseen problems. I don't mind getting these problems because then I have to come up with a solution and once I've got a solution that means that the next time I get a similar problem I've got a bit more experience how to sort it out. The only problem I've got now though, is I've not got a brew, but that's a problem I can soon sort out. Oh look at that, lovely cup of coffee. Catch you in the next video. By the way, please like and subscribe. <laughs>